business power the right away. Need to find more. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me, and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. Had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. 
wakes. I think he was always a monster, always Scratch. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No! I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor, you're using the wrong tense, trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yuck was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. My brother. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, 
I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101, fear is a great motivator. is a gateway to the dark place. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Right. said the cult kills taken is he telling the truth surplus deer masks by in bulk we've got a floater a taken on the shore call the gang yako we are going hunting cult of the tree keeping the town safe since 2013. elmo is telling the truth about the cult they really were fighting the taken we're on the same side Cult is killing Taken. Then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. I need to know what information I can still trust.
Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, 
Is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson, what's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalan knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. I'm running out of time.
on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. We'll be ready. That's the best out. That must be Torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <clears throat> the boss is our hammer! One dragon with one hand! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul, road treat! Carefully, Grandpa. Metal to the metal, bro! Metal to the metal! Yeah! <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive.
another locked box. 